If you've ever looked into your overflowing closet and thought, I have nothing to wear, it might be time to address the situation. And it's high time to figure out why you're feeling frustrated with your wardrobe. Of course, things like impulse shopping and not putting intention into the shopping process are gonna be a big reason why a lot of us tend to just accumulate way too much, but I wanna go deeper if that's cool with you. I mean, you know I like to do that. So let's talk about the not so obvious ways we tend to accumulate tons of things in our wardrobes, but end up ultimately hating everything. So this lesson took me years to figure out. And over those years, I continued to buy and buy and buy and accumulate. So I spent hundreds, probably thousands of dollars, wasted it like down the drain. So take it from me, learn from my mistake. And that is when we buy clothes, a lot of us buy clothing for the fantasy version of ourselves and not the reality of who we are right now and in our season of life. That version of us might be a different size, it might be a different age, it might have a different bank account, it might have a completely different lifestyle, it might be in a different season of life. You get the idea. Maybe you tend to make a lot of your clothing purchase decisions based on influencers you follow because you love their style. And here's the thing, that's completely normal. When we like someone's style, we wanna emulate that often, and so we go out and purchase pieces that they would likely wear too. So this reminds me of when I was obsessed with bohemian style clothing, the long dresses, the floral, the patterns, kind of the bright color colors, all the layers, and I was just obsessed with it. So what did I do? Like anyone who liked a certain style of clothing, I started to accumulate and purchase these pieces, but all along that time frame, they sat mostly untouched sitting in my closet collecting dust. And anytime I went to get dressed, I'd thumb through the dresses and all these pieces in my closet. And I'd always reach for jeans and a t-shirt or something I was more comfortable in. Because when it came down to it, a few things were happening. Number one, again, I wasn't comfortable in those pieces. And honestly, I didn't really feel like myself when I wore those bohemian dresses. And I still don't. If I were to put on a bohemian type dress today, I would probably love it, but I wouldn't really feel like me. Instead, I'd feel like this version of me kind of trying to pretend to be someone else. Plus at this time, these pieces didn't fit into my season of life. I was either running around with two babies at home or I was working out of an office, neither of which I would wear bohemian dresses for. So here's one way to identify if this is actually happening to you too. It happens all the time. And it's actually just through a really simple math equation. Now I don't like math and you might not either, but trust me, this is so simple. Anybody can do it. Step one is to identify how you were spending your time each week. So break out the different categories of how you spend your time. Maybe that's spending time with family. Maybe that's outdoors, exercising, at work, all these different things. Maybe have like four to six categories of where you're spending your time and the types of wardrobe and clothing you would wear during that time frame. So step two, look at your closet. If you kind of group all of the items in your closet for each category and look at it as a whole, if you recognize maybe 20% of your wardrobe is like special event clothing, maybe fancier dresses for weddings or corporate events or seminars or things like that, but you're only doing that 5% of the year, that doesn't align. You can do this with exercise clothing. You can kind of lump that in with actually athleisure, of course, but let's just talk about exercise clothing because I know so many of us, we love our exercise clothes, right? Leggings, all these different cute bras, all these different things. So you could have 14 pairs of leggings, but if you're exercising maybe only 5% of the week, maybe you just knock it down to two, two leggings. That's plenty. The idea is once you can kind of see how you're spending your time and if your clothing reflects that, you should be able to much more likely be able to pare down a lot of those pieces. And the same thing goes for shoes, accessories, jewelry, and the like. Like, listen, I love a high heel. I have always loved high heels, but I never wore them. Anytime it came to an opportunity to go out for a date night or go out with some girlfriends when I was in my early 20s, <laughs> I never wore the high heels. I always wore flats because they were more comfortable. And listen, the truth was I was terrible at walking in high heels. <laughs> And I didn't want to subject my feet to that type of pain either. <laughs> but here's the thing. I held on to those high heels until my late 20s. So for like 10 years because I loved them. So a great question to ask yourself if you're in this position is, have I had the opportunity to wear this in the last six to 12 months? If the answer is yes, I have had the opportunity to wear these high heels, to wear this dress, to wear these exercise leggings. And you haven't because guess what? You wore your favorite pair anyway. You wore your favorite dress or your favorite shoes anyway. Then that's a huge red flag that 
that it's time to let go of this item. And I'm telling you what, once you let go of some of these things that are truly not serving you, collecting dust in your closet and creating overwhelm, it is the most liberating feeling. I know it can feel fearful at first, like, oh, but I love these things. Again, you can love an item, but it doesn't mean you have to hang on to it. And it doesn't mean you need to buy it. Listen, I see people all the time on social media and I'm like, that outfit is so stinking adorable. I love it, but I can appreciate it from a distance. Doesn't mean I have to open my wallet and go buy it. We don't need to buy everything that we love. Heck, if I bought everything I loved, my closet would still be overflowing. Plus, did you know that studies show we actually wear 20% of our clothing 80% of the time? Yeah, right? That's everyone. We wear our favorite clothing. So why not declutter and simplify your wardrobe and only have your favorites left? Just keep it simple. Keep items that fit you now, that make you feel confident, make you feel beautiful, that you're comfortable in, all right? And meet all these different requirements you should have in place for the clothing that you wanna keep. And if you need more support on how to declutter your overflowing wardrobe, stay tuned because I'm gonna give you some really helpful tips that are gonna help you let go of more, so don't go anywhere. Another reason we have so much stuff in our wardrobes is because we're focusing on flash in the pan trends and not these classic pieces. The fashion industry, literally their whole business model depends depends on coming up and inventing or recreating old trends into new ones and recycling those all the time. So if we wanna fit in, if we wanna be cool, if we wanna be hip with the times, boy, did I sound like old when I said that. Then we're gonna be constantly opening our wallet and buying the next best thing. And here's the thing, not all trends are bad. I do wanna put that out there. Sometimes the word trends like gets a bad rap, but I've hung on to trends because some of them just last longer, but most probably don't. And with fast fashion brands just pumping out these pieces left and right at prices that for a lot of people are pretty economical and affordable, it just creates this accumulation cycle. Which by the way, if people knew why fast fashion brands were able to make their clothing so cheap and sell it to us so cheap, they would be shocked and not in a good way. But that's for another video. The truth is a lot of people have an easier time dropping 15, 20 bucks on a trend. And if it goes away next week, next month, or in two, months, like what's the big deal, right? It was just 15 or $20. Listen, my closet was filled, here's a picture, with hundreds of items that were only 15 or $20. That's probably thousands of dollars of clothing right there. And the bulk of them I didn't wear, they were clutter. And so shifting your mindset from quantity to quality is a game changer, especially when it comes to clothing. Invest in more classic, timeless pieces that are gonna serve you, that you're actually gonna pick up and wear. By the way, I have far less clothing than I've had in my life, and I love my wardrobe more than ever. That is not a coincidence. The fact is we all feel better if our wardrobe aligns with our current lifestyle and who we are in reality, not this idea realistic or fantasy version of ourselves. Another huge and vastly underrated reason that most people don't realize why we accumulate so much and it's a lot of the clothing either makes us feel boring or blah or we just don't care for is because we don't consider color. So my friend Jeannie is a specialist in color matching. Yes, that's a thing. Hang tight because this is a game changer. And she is an expert at identifying the most gorgeous colors for you. Two years ago, I got my colors done by her and it's been a game changer when it comes to the state of my wardrobe and how I feel in my clothing. So how it works is Jeannie examines a short questionnaire that you're going to fill out online and she studies the colors in your eyes, your cheeks, your lips, your hair, and your skin. And one really important thing that differentiates Jeannie from a lot of other color and analysis companies out there is she's also looking at your overt tones and your undertones, which is so important and so impactful when it comes to color. She also looks at the highlights in your hair, the flex in your eyes, like this woman is detail oriented and I love it. Then you receive this awesome little card. I keep this actually in my purse anytime I want to shop, especially in a store. This is with me and I shop by color first. And anyway, this has 35 of your personalized best colors for you. And also in your packages, you're going to discover just as importantly, in my opinion, what colors work for you but also what colors don't work for you. Here is an example. There is nothing different from these pictures outside of the color and maybe a little lighting. These pictures were taken a year apart and a lot of people ask me on that picture on the right where I'm wearing this color, which is one of my best colors, by the way. They're like, oh, you have a filter on. No filter, it's literally color. Here's why getting your colors analyzed is a thousand percent worth it. Hands down, knowing your colors is the quickest way to create a simplified wardrobe with pieces that you actually love and wear and feel absolutely beautiful in. I love knowing my best colors because it removes all guesswork about like, does this color look good on me? Number two, it's easier to declutter pieces in your closet that are not the right fit. It saves you so much time, especially when it comes to shopping. One of my favorite things about Jeannie's color cards is 
because they are a family of colors and they actually all look amazing together. And you have less shopping overwhelm. Remember, just because we simplify our closets doesn't mean we're never gonna shop again. So when you do, you have this awesome color card and you can quickly eliminate colors that aren't for you so you can easily find the ones that do. And another huge benefit is you are gonna save so much money. I think within the first two months of getting my colors done, not only was I able to declutter and simplify my closet even more, I was able to say no to these really beautiful pieces I loved on other influencers and through different brands I follow very quickly because simply it wasn't the right color for me. So Jeannie has quite a few packages available and you can get 10% off using code clutter free. So whether or not you want to declutter your wardrobe, create a capsule wardrobe, save time, money, and energy in the future, or just want to completely have a wardrobe overhaul, Jeannie is your gal. And honestly, if I could change one thing in my declutter journey, you saw my wardrobe there in these pictures right here. It was insane. It looked like a bomb went off. And one afternoon, I spent about eight hours going through it very painstakingly. And while I did make progress decluttering, I really wished I would have done it a little more gently. And a great way to do this is just by using your color card. If I had had this, it would have been so much easier. So get this first, and I promise you it's gonna pay off in the short term and the long run as well. And for all you neutral lovers out there, because you probably see my videos, I love neutrals. I love light grays and dark grays, but here's the thing, here's why I love them, because they're on my color card. <laughs> And so even if you tend to gravitate towards a lot of neutrals, you'll actually find out what neutrals are best for you and which aren't. And really quickly, I wanna do this quick experiment so you can see real time what I mean. And just a quick note, I don't know if you can see it, this top one right here is the color I have on. It's one of the colors I gravitate the most. By no means did I go out and start buying things in all 35 of my colors. I have tested things out. I shop a lot secondhand. I've probably incorporated five, maybe six of these over the course of two years. Years. So by no means, again, do you have to get all of them? But let's let's look at neutrals quick. Okay, so here I am in ivory. I learned through my color consultation through Jeannie that this is really not my best neutral and it makes so much sense. It's hard to see it maybe a little on camera, but maybe you can already quickly identify I look a little more washed out. And when you wear the wrong colors, whether it's not your best neutral or not your best like color color, it tends to bring out the dark circles under our eyes. I feel like I look a little older and again, washed out and just not as lively as I I did when I was wearing one of my best colors just a few seconds ago. So on your color card, she's got a soft white. That one's better for me. I'm gonna go hop into that so you can see a difference. All right, and here I am in a soft white. While it is wrinkled, I do feel a little more lively. I feel like I have some glow back and it's just once you see the colors that don't work for you, you can't unsee it. I personally will not be wearing ivory ever again. Okay, I don't know what color this is. It kind of reminds me of what I saw in my kids' diapers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really beautiful color, honestly, but it's not for me. And I learned through my color consultation, this color is not for me. And as you can see, this color is nowhere on here. In fact, this is one of my worst colors. And here I am in one of my best browns. It's softer. It's muted. It's just so much better for my complexion. In fact, if you're a podcast listener of mine, you will probably recognize this sweater. It's from my podcast cover. I got a new podcast photo taken after I got my color consultation because the one I had before, one of my worst colors, orange. And here's the thing. I have friends in my life who look amazing in this color, oranges, and the colors I don't look amazing in. So color is not created equal for everyone when it comes to clothing. So again, I swear by this, it will make the biggest impact in your wardrobe. So let's recap. Number one, stop buying clothing for the fantasy version of yourself. Number two, invest in timeless pieces that are going to last longer and that you're going to continue to reach for time and time again in your closet. And number three, get your darn colors analyzed. Like what are you waiting for? Like run, don't walk. Best decision I ever made. And truly the gift that keeps on giving. And by the way, we've got holidays coming up. I've purchased color consultations for every single person in my family. So if you're looking for some gift ideas that aren't going to create clutter, get your family their colors done and they will be so excited. And remember to use my coupon code for 10% off any packages clutter free. You know what to do, friends. Ready, set, declutter. See you next time.